Now let's talk about OpenSynth. You know, um, you briefly touched upon it. I just want to go into detail. Number one is that what is the project all about? And number two is once again, who drew, what led to the creation of the project? OpenSynth is a project looking to, yeah, to democratize access to uh, synthetic energy consumption data. So what we're hoping to achieve is to build a community um, around uh, users and creators of synthetic data. Uh, so we, um, as part of the Octopus Energy Group, we have access to large volumes of customer consumption data, and we use that for our research, and many others would also like access because um, it's consumption data is incredibly useful for energy systems research. And so we were thinking about how do, we, how do we try and get that data in the hands of more people? And obviously there are a lot of challenges with that, particularly around privacy. And so we um, thought that synthetic data would be the, the solution to this. And um, we actually built a, a tool called Faraday, which is a generative AI model that can create synthetic data from all of that real smart meter data that we have access to. And then um, OpenSynth came about from us wanting to take Faraday to the next level to give access to more people. So it's not only us creating synthetic data, but others too, and building a whole community around that. Can you just, uh, for our viewers, explain what is synthetic data? Sure, yeah. So synthetic data is um, like real data. So in this context, we're looking at smart meter data, energy consumption data. The synthetic version of that looks exactly like a household profile might be um, from a real uh, smart meter data source, but is entirely fake, but has all of the aspects of real data that you would you would expect, but without being able to tie it back to an individual household. As you mentioned, you know, the project was recently, you know, launched with LF Energy. How mature is it? Just give us with the state of the project at this point. Yeah, so we launched the, the project last month and we don't actually have the, the kind of um, open source technology in place yet. And the reason for that is we wanted to, to build the community first, get all the interested parties so that we could find the right technical contributors to the project for the next phase. Um, and so going, going into the rest of this year, we're going to be building out the technical infrastructure to host the algorithms and synthetic data itself. Uh, but we're also working on building a set of standards around the synthetic data that will be, um, that will be able to kind of measure the, the, um, how, how useful and how private the data is before launching it so that that's all in place ready to go. So the state right now is building the community and then and when we look at open state, is it going to be software code? Is it going to be specifications or is it going to be standard? Yes, all of that. So we're going to be um, um, we're going to have a big data repository which will have uh, uh, various synthetic data sets for various use cases that have been trained on um, companies raw data. Um, we're going to have a, a code repository uh, which will host the, the algorithm, algorithms. And the idea here is that we'll have some technology in place that will be able to benchmark the algorithms against public data sets and the metrics that we've come, come up with so that we can measure the, the algorithms and, and see how suitable they are for different use cases. Um, and we'll also be developing the standards around privacy and fidelity. Um, uh, which will kind of help benchmark those, those algorithms.